this is Justin Lin, director of Fast and Furious 6. This is Alan Kavay, previous supervisor on Fast and Furious 6. Baby Chan, action sequencer. And here, I uh, wanted to share with you a sequence that was designed, but never made it to be filmed practically. Um, and as you can see, there, there's a reason <laughs> why. So cool. Uh, this was supposed to be, you know, it ultimately ended up, uh, we shot it in Tenerife uh, on the highway. Um, but, you know, I always work with the philosophy that, you know, during, during development and, and pre-production that I, sh you know, money should, no object, you know, creativity is the king and, and you do whatever drives you uh, creatively. And that, to me, I felt like at the end of second act, you know, we should have, uh, I think the most fun was to, to have this tank sequence in the heart of London, uh, Piccadilly Circus, going down Regent Street, and, um, very quickly though, I think it, I think to shoot what you're seeing here, it probably would cost all the the budget of the whole film. Um, and actually, I don't think that's even enough. Yeah, because yeah, the calculator was still like red hot from pressing all the buttons. They, they, I don't think they even wanted us to like mark up their street. Yeah, <laughs> I mean we we went down this path uh, uh, for a bit. I mean we we even looked at creating. London on a on at Long Cross uh, and, and literally build London and at the end of the day I, I felt like um, it's just not money well spent you know um, a lot of money would have went into construction to try to even make it look like yeah but uh, it's it's great to be able to kind of share it with everybody and watch it now because it was this was so much fun uh, designing it yeah oh yeah, yeah it's definitely like a kid in a sandbox just, so you just like bring your cars out and just wrecking everything. Seeing that tank pop up out of the subway, it's just, oh <laughs> man, what a cool moment that is. Yeah, and um, Kelly Matsumoto, she cut this, and I think, I don't think we even got the sound on this one, uh, but a lot of work went into it. Um, I mean, obviously you guys had to, uh, you guys had to scan London. Uh, okay. We had to build it, basically all this was, this is all built by hand, so we went to all those locations and took photographs and you know, Piccadilly Circus, all that stuff. It was all accurately built so that, you know, if this ever went out to go and get shot, you could go and put the cameras exactly where we've put the cameras and you get exactly what we would put down. Yeah, it definitely helps map out the, you know, realism, I think. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't get that. I mean, it's like, it's not like it's just generated CG stuff. But you just press a button and it'll just pop up. Yeah, yeah and as you can see, some of the beats, like the one with Roman jumping on, uh, Brian's car made it, you know, to the highway sequence. But again, I think this is some of the, sometimes when you make uh, films, even at the biggest, you know, and, and, and this this is definitely Fast and Furious 6 is included in that, uh, the, the big budget temple range, you still sometimes just will not even come close to having enough money. So I ha I feel like I have this little vault uh, of, of these crazy ideas that we're eventually gonna, <laughs> we're, we'll, we're, we'll get to one day. <laughs> But as we see here, you know, that, that's Hobbs' vehicle, and then we're going to have Dom jump down the Thames oh, yeah. uh, with Letty, which we actually never even got to finish. So so there you go. This is uh, this is something that will probably just exist uh, in this form and, until maybe uh, another film.